Um, so we have f of x equals 3x to the fifth plus 2x to the fourth minus x squared minus 5. Now they're asking you for the end behavior. And ladies and gentlemen, we have to remember a couple things when looking at end behavior. There's going to be two things we're going to go for. We're going to look at the degree, which remember, as long as this is in descending order with the largest exponent or power first, and going to send order. So we look at the degree, and then we also look at the leading coefficient. Now remember, there's two types of um, uh, there's two types that we're going to have. We're going to have an end behavior when our degree is even, or we're going to have it when it's odd. All right. And the best way I like to remember this, because it works for all even functions, is let's think about the easiest even function to remember is a quadratic. And a quadratic can open up, or it can open down. It opens up when it's positive, and it opens down when it's negative. But what is positive and what is negative? Remember, for quadratics, a had to be positive, right? And a was negative, it would open down. Well, a is your leading coefficient. And that works for all polynomials. However, do we have an even degree here? No. So this rule, if it's positive or negative, is not going to work for that one, OK? Thank you. So now let's go back and look at the odd ones. So odd has the same components, all right? But the end behavior is a little bit different. If you remember, this was an x squared function. Let's do an x cubed. The positive x cubed looked like that, and the negative looks like this. All right. Now this works for all odd. All odd have the same end behavior. For a positive, it falls left, rises right. For a negative, it rises left, falls right. So I look, I have an odd degree. So it's going to be one of these two. Then I look at my leading coefficient. It's positive. So it's going to have this end behavior. So all I can say is then it's going to fall left, rise right. Does that make sense? So if you guys can just remember these four basic functions and then just determine if it's odd and if the leading coefficient is positive. However, your uh, test might not have it in that. It might not, it's probably not going to say fall left and rise right. So you want to make sure that we understand a, maybe a different notation. This is positive. So we need to say, maybe we, it might say, as x approaches negative infinity, so as my x values go to negative infinity, my f of x approaches negative infinity. Right? Because here's your x values, and here's your f of x values. So as x goes to negative infinity, right, as you keep on going, my f of x values, so the point on the graph, goes down to f of x, or negative infinity. And then I could say as x approaches infinity, so as my points on the x go to infinity, my f of x approaches infinity. OK, so that might just be another way, Elizabeth, that uh, the end behavior would be written. OK? Yes, so if this was an even and it was positive, then you'd say as, f of, as x approaches negative infinity, f of x would approach infinity. As x approaches infinity, f of x approaches infinity. Yes? OK.